Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Capricorn and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angel Spirits Guides as an overarching message for February 2021. Okay, so I've got the star card of Aquarius is a beautiful energy. Message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. For the month. February 2021, please. Message for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Wow, I've got prosperity. You see that person there being showered with gold? I mean, that's a beautiful image, isn't it? Um, yeah, very, very positive energy of abundance. Okay. And angels, what is the message for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear the most, please? So I have no. <laughs> Let's get another card. It's a very finite no, okay. I have recovery. Interesting. I'll pull a card for that in a moment, Capricorn. Let us let's pull four cards. The first card, first week, second card, second week, third card, third week, fourth card, fourth week, and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so let's pull the cards for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides for February 2021. Thank you. So I have the King of Swords card of Aquarius. Again, interesting, two Aquarian energies. And we have the Ace of Cups here, Capricorn. Ten of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. So Six of Pentacles, I've got the King of Swords again. <laughs> okay, with the Six of Pentacles here. The Ace of Cups, Capricorn, we have with the Five of Cups. Ten of Swords is clarified with the Ace of Swords, my goodness. And the Eight of Wands is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, Capricorn, male or female energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. <clears throat> the interesting thing that I'm getting here, there is a message of prosperity, there is a message of hope with the star, there is a message of recovery, and then we have this no. The, the thing is, Capricorn, 
<laughs> sometimes it can be you might be saying no to somebody this month or someone might be saying no to you it can be that kind of energy and it feels so let's I mean you can be asking the question will this go on forever will things change you know is you know will be, will this period of feeling lack go on forever the answer is no you know it can be a number of things so let's clarify this no let's clarify this no yeah hmm will you be waiting forever this is a card of waiting being in limbo and the answer is no interesting Let's pull one more card. Let's pull one more card with this hanging man and the no, please. So that's why you're being told there's recovery. Uh, no, things won't go on forever. There is hope. And that's what the message is here, Capricorn. It feels very beautiful. Okay, let's put one more card, please. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. Yeah, I have this with the Three of Swords. And again, it's interesting because bottom of that is the Knight of Pentacles, uh, which can be in terms of offers, opportunities, but also an energy of healing, getting back on track. And again, that is very much tying in with this recovery energy. So the Three of Swords is a card of something that's hurt you deeply, some truth that's come to light here. You know, in relationships, it's heartbreak, third party situations. It can be something that's caused you emotional pain in whatever situation. The Three of Swords is ultimately some truth that tests, it can be a test of a relationship um, in whatever context here. So yes, this could be in love, romance, relationships. This could be in terms of other areas of your life could be to do with family could be to do with um money career you know it, it could be that kind of energy so something has caused you emotional pain here will it last forever and it's it's an emotional pain that has made you feel in limbo that has been difficult to move on from and sometimes we experience hangman energies you know, it can sometimes be to do with challenges in relationships when we have maybe breakups in relationships or <clears throat> um, we feel in limbo. In, it's that period of between moving forward and something ending, for example, and I'm not just saying it's that, that we feel in limbo. We're adjusting. We're kind of trying to get the way forward, get our perspective and how we need to move forward. And it can be that kind of energy, sometimes looking at something from a different way, a different point of view can also be to do with waiting for something to play out. Will I be waiting forever? Will I feel like this forever? Will I feel this pain forever? Will I feel in limbo because of this truth or this pain that's been hurt, caused me? No. And that's what you're being told because we have the star, which is a card of hope, faith, have faith. The path that you want is you're choosing to be on and it definitely feels like there's some illumination with that hanged man the path that you're seeing the way forward and it feels to greater prosperity abundance so very very good in terms of money and career in particular here capricorn or growth you know that kind of energy um is the right one for you you will find the right path you will find the right di direction um, you will get the, the big perspective in how you need to move forward, how you need to deal with the situation. And it's a lovely sense of, of renewal, of hope, of have faith. You are being guided, given blessings by the universe. <clears throat> it is the divine wish fulfillment card. Um, but it's the visionary energy of, of getting clarity, perspective in which way you need to go. Um, and it's towards this, to bring in recovery into your life. It could be to do with financial recovery, because we do have the prosperity card here. 
so it feels very beautiful <clears throat> Now, the King of Swords appearing twice in your reading. So, as an energy, Capricorn, male or female energy, this could be getting clarity. This is a card of clarity, visionary energy, putting a new plan into action. And again, this Six of Pentacles is putting your energy in the right direction in order to bring growth. It can be in terms of material success, that kind of energy. It is about putting a plan into action. Remember, the King of Swords sits in the, in the clouds. He's air energy, pure air energy. He doesn't allow emotion <clears throat> to cloud his judgment. So there's definitely this energy of getting mental clarity and how you need to deal with a situation that might have caused you lack. I mean, the Six of Pentacles can sometimes be a card of feeling the lack. It can be a card of receiving charity or receiving help or support from loved ones. Um, you know, that kind of, it can be financial support. It, it can be that kind of energy where you felt that, you know, you didn't have enough. And again, this King of Swords, it can be an energy of getting perspective, putting an, a plan into action in, in how to, in saying, right, this is what I need to do. This is the way I need to go. And making your mind up. It's that kind of energy. Now, there could also be somebody of influence in your life, I have to say, this month, who is helping you turn your life around. <clears throat> could be some professional advice or consultant, male or female energy, but it definitely feels for some of you there could be somebody who is helping you, giving you the sound advice, or who is influential in bringing a turnaround in opening a new door for you, bringing recovery, maybe prosperity, you know, it could be financial recovery, material recovery, that kind of energy. Because the Five of Cups is a card of, it can be a card of loss, it can be a card of regret, looking back. You know, this person looks at three empty cups because, you know, yeah, there are still two cups full of uplifting energy there. So there's definitely this energy of even though something feels lost, even though there could be some regrets, even though it's difficult to move on from something that has made you feel uh, empty, down, there's definitely some kind of opportunity here that is uplifting. Now, the Ace of Cups can be new love, uh, it can be can be to do with opportunities that bring you joy as well. So it could be in terms of money and career here. Um, it feels for some of you, you're staring at the negative with the Five of Cups is only going to bring you more emptiness and negativity. The message here is to focus on the positive. And again, that's what that Six of Pentacles is saying. Put your energy in the right direction now. Put a plan into action. Because for some of you, there's definitely some new opportunity coming your way in whatever context. The Ace of Cups is the cup of joy. So it is a new beginning that is bringing happiness and joy. It can be to do with love, self-love. It can be to do with new love. Um... It can be to do with creative opportunities as well. Um, but it could, you know, just this opportunity that's bringing you joy, happiness, contentment. So it definitely feels that all is not lost here. Put your energy, put a plan into action, because for some of you, there's hope. And it's hope in the form of this opportunity here for you. Ten of Swords is a card of, it can be a card of betrayal, being deeply hurt, wounded. Um, can be a card of loss as well. So again, the difficulty in moving on from that, but it's a ten. And a ten is a completion in tarot. And here we have the cutting of the cords, the breaking free, breaking through to a new beginning here, the Ace of Swords. So again... 
This again is about focusing your mind, your mental energy on how you move forward now, how you open a new door. But this can also say there's a breakthrough that's coming your way that is putting past pain, past hurt, past betrayal, I mean, call it what you will, behind you and allowing you to move on from these negative energies that you've been experiencing. Uh, so some kind of, and, and again, that's the breakthrough energy. I definitely see this as a breakthrough. I mean, the Ace of Swords is the victory. And it's the victory over that which hurt you, that which challenged you, that which floored you for a period of time. Uh, but there's a new day, a new dawn, breaking through the clouds. As you can see there, the, the, the clouds are lightning, uh, lightening up behind the, the swords energy. And there's a new day, a new dawn coming because, and I feel it's in the form of this, because this is the new beginning. This is the breakthrough energy. This is the card of victory, triumph, success over this. So for some of you, there's definitely this energy of don't, don't focus on the negative. Now is the time to put your energy towards a new plan because there's some breakthrough coming your way. And it feels very beautiful because this is the Queen of Pentacles, you back in abundance, you know, back in your elements. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, we have the peacock with her, a sign of abundance. And again, very much, very good in terms of material success, prosperity. Uh, she is Capricorn, male or female energy again. It feels in this situation, Capricorn, that this is about, she is somebody who understands how to stay focused, to use her material, uh, so use her practical assets, resources to bring her material gain. Um, and she's patient, she's methodical, she does things pragmatically, not the fastest of all the queens, but she understands how to protect what's hers, provide financially for herself, can be a working parent. She's a nurturing, healing energy as well. So it definitely feels for some of you that all those things are embodied in that that card, you will understand how to protect. There's some breakthrough that's coming that will enable you to practically protect what's yours. Could be materially wise, uh, financially, um, career wise maybe for some of you, um, because it's in the form of, of some fast moving change. You know, the eight of wands is fast change. It's the shift. Something just shifts very, very quickly. And that's coming after this breakthrough card here. So I definitely feel that these energies are very much linked. A breakthrough to a new beginning here. Could be an element of cutting cords as well for some of you, Capricorn. Um, but the Eight of Wands for me as a reader can be news, messages, opportunity, coming thick and fast. Could be more than one. All of a sudden something shifts can sometimes be for me as a reader, a conversation leads to something solid and stable as well. Um, because it's a mercurial energy. So sometimes linked to travel as well for some of you. Um, I mean, some of these cards could be linked to the internet as well, you know, dealing with technology, internet, email, that kind of energy too. So the, the, the breakthrough could come through some kind of like medium of technology as well. But it's what it's doing, it's re-establishing joy, happiness, reconnecting you with who you are, your joy, your happiness. Now, yes, this can also be somebody from the past being influential in your life, um, could be reconnecting to somebody from the past. But it feels for me, this is about you reconnecting to who you are as well. You know, it feels that you've been definitely challenged. One way I could read this is that you have been challenged financially. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a card of some kind of offer, opportunity coming your way that brings change. Could be to do with somebody from the past or somebody is of influence in your life this month. Like I said, it could be a third party, um, a go-between, you know, that kind of energy as well, who is influential in bringing you this opportunity in. And the Knight of Pentacles can be a contract, it can be a job offer, it can be some money coming your way. Um, it's also a card of getting back on track as well. Could even be this recovery energy, uh, recovering, getting back on track, healing from what's gone and bringing stability, security, protecting what's yours. So I definitely love this energy of hope. 
I definitely love this energy of, will I be like this forever? Am I going to be stuck in the past forever? No. Will I be feeling the lack forever? No. There's definitely recovery on the cards for that reason. And I'm definitely getting some material aspect to this for some of you. Um, prosperity, abundance. So stay hopeful. The strategy that you implement, and I definitely feel that there is some kind of plan that you're putting into action. Um, you'll be on the right path to receive a blessing. So I definitely feel in this energy, whatever path you choose here with this King of Swords, it will be the right one for you and is bringing in some kind of breakthrough. So very, very beautiful energy. Uh, the star is a card of, of you're on the right path, stay committed to it. And if you keep on putting your energy, time and resources into it, you will receive the blessing. So it's that kind of energy, the blessing being, I feel in this case, prosperity. Okay. The message is be very careful in what you're focusing on. The King of Swords is future focusing. He doesn't look back. He does not look back. Uh, he doesn't have time to focus on the Ten of Swords either. He's not interested in what's gone. He's only interested in what's ahead. So certainly for some of you, there's something to do with getting your head around a situation, mental clarity, uh, you know, rising above the clouds of any confusion that you might have experienced here and seeing the way forward of how to put some kind of plan into action because it's going to pay off. But it feels that you've been through some hanged man energy, which is a feeling of being in limbo, sometimes waiting for things to play out, divine timing and all that can sometimes be at looking at something from a different perspective, especially if you're focusing on the negative like this person is, uh, when there's still hope, you know, behind them. So, yeah, I love that. We have Swan, graceful transformation, soften your heart and find your flow. Yeah, and I definitely feel that that's very much in this energy. Find your flow again. These are flow cards. This is stunting the flow, most definitely. And this is, again, finding that flow, a new beginning energy. And we have the spider, dream weaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Yeah, so some healing energy here as well. But, you know, this is a card of dare to dream as well. So it's interesting that we have the dream weaver here because it feels for some of you there is some kind of divine wishful form of divine wish fulfillment here um, that is bringing some recovery into your life. So this is a card of dare to dream. Open your mind now, you know, look ahead because there are dreams made real with this card. So this is the opportunity for you to stay on the path that you're on, put some kind of plan into action here because it's going to bring some kind of prosperity. Definitely getting your head around a situation, I feel. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.